installment of the Crafty Chica Facebook Live show. And I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. If you haven't seen my site, it's craftychica.com. I've had it for a few years now, and I have gosh, like over 3,000 craft tutorials on there of all different types of mediums of things that you can make. I just thought it would be fun to come here every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time and just bring you in to hang out with me in my studio and show you what I'm working on and maybe it will inspire you guys to go have fun and do something too. I really fired them and painted them and I fired them in my kiln and I made this fun jewelry. So I really love using materials. Here is the block of clay over here. So this block of clay, it, I think it cost me about 20 bucks. Look at how much that is. And I just have, I like using materials where a little bit goes a long way. These are, um, I made these from chocolate molds. I poured slip into them. With, you put a little bit of powder and then the slip and then you pop them out, fire them to bisque, and then you can paint them. And here's what they look like when they're done. So they look really pretty. And that way I just stockpile all of these so that I can use them in my art or my mosaics. I tried to make Frida's. I stamped some letters and then this was a stamp. And then these are just some extras that I have. So I'm actually thinking about maybe selling these just like this, like maybe on Etsy or something. So people, you can paint them with acrylics and high gloss varnish. So anyway, um, so what I'm doing is making rings. So what I do when I make these clay pieces, I know that I Heart Tacos is going to be popular because I had people request that. So I made several for necklaces and for that I poked a little hole in there for a necklace and then I made some without the little hole so that I could make it as a ring because some people want a ring. So here are all of my pieces. This one I already made into a ring. These are ones, this one, um, the little hole, I made it too small. I couldn't get the jump ring through, so I glued a bale on the back. But this one is ready to go for a ring. And then these are the roses that I did that I'm going to turn into rings. So what I do is I just line them up like this. And what I love is that you can turn anything into a ring. So I buy these on Amazon. Hi. <laughs> I buy these on Amazon, Amazon Prime. So I get these the next day, free shipping, which I love because once I get in the mode of doing this, I don't want to stop. And I have my E6000 here. So let's put some, a hearty amount there. Amount there. there and then I just put that on there and I know you guys know how to glue ring bases on to rings but this is just what needs to be done today in the studio in case I get orders let me do one more see if you guys were over here at my house I would be can you glue these for me while I go do something else you can ask any friend of mine who's come over to my house that's what always happens Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna put my cap on. And then, look, this is the ball chain. I get this on Amazon as well. So you can turn anything into a necklace. So that is going on there. Okay, so now let me show you. Oh, this I need to repair. So I'll do that a little later. I traveled with it for a set design and it broke it? it's a little tiara that says crafty chica and i don't wear it but i like to just have it you know in this in the display and it's it was this website called over the top tiaras and i think she closed down her site but she would custom make tiaras and she solders them all together and hey maybe this is a business she stopped doing these maybe someone else could pick up and start making custom tiaras Okay, so that I will fix later. So this is the cool thing I want to show you guys. So last week I had showed you my Crafty Chica stencils. And while I was away at Sizzix, 
the crafters workshop sent me all of their gessos so what i did was i took i actually first thing i was in bed last night and i'm like what should i show on the crafty chica show tomorrow and then i got up out of bed and i used my phone my iphone and i looked up different techniques for using these so i went to the crafters workshop blog and they had a really cool technique using the gel medium gloss and you put it onto the stencil or onto the wood which let's see let me show one like this can you see that let me show a technique real quick okay so here's a flat wood base and i will just i'll do this heart and i have oops sorry where's my palette knife look at this one i did with the gold gesso isn't that pretty and that, so I'm still doing something with that, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, so here is my gel medium gloss. How's it going? Do you have any questions or anything? Give me hearts if you like it. I'll keep going. Let me know if you like it. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi. Yay, hi. Okay, so here is a stencil that I have down right here. And then here is the gel medium gloss. And I'm using a palette knife and I'm just going to scrape this like this. And this is this morning was actually like the first time in a long time I've used gel mediums. And then look at how beautiful that comes out. And now we're going to let this dry. Let me take this and clean this off. dry it up on there okay so now that that's gonna dry here's one that I did in advance so it's already dry this one I use the um, La Artista stencil and so I use the clear gel medium I actually before I put the gel medium in the stencil I put a little bit of paint and then now I'm going to add I haven't tried this technique before. I just saw it last night. So we're gonna try it here together. I'm gonna paint this whole thing black and then I'm gonna wipe it off with the baby wipe. So here we go. What stencil was the hard one? Uh, the heart, this is the heart stencil. This stencil comes in um, 12 by 12 or six by six inches and you can go to scrapbook.com to order them or you could go to the craftersworkshop.com but um, this one I designed four different <laughs> hearts that you can use. It's just a, like paint or glue? It is a combo, it's like a, um, a glue but it has different, you can get them in different things like um, light and fluffy or matte or glossy clear matte translucent okay so anyway let's try this out so I'm thinking what's going to happen I should have tried this out before we're doing this live but let's see what happens okay and put that in there now I'm going to take my baby wipe she made it look so easy on her Oh yeah, okay. So what happens is it just kind of like gives it some more definition. Makes it look embossed. Don't rub it off too hard. Oh yeah, I rubbed it off kind of hard. Okay, so let me put some more. I got excited. Maybe I need to let it dry just a little bit. Okay, so I'll let that dry just a tiny bit. So there's this one. Now, for this one, I wanted to do something different. So I'm going to use the Sugar Skull stencil. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. And this is the six by six. And I have where did it go? Oh, guess what? My Crafty Chica 
Bebop Black Glitter, which you can buy on my website. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the black gesso. It's a little trickier on a canvas because the surface isn't as hard as the wood was. You might want to tape it down. Huh? You might want to tape it down to the spoon. So yeah. Pop up. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ah, uh, so that was the canvas was a little hard. But I think if I had done it on wood, it would have been better. So this was the technique I wanted to do. Here's this. I want to pour glitter over it. So there's the stencil. Here's the glitter. Yay! So you get a nice, clean, glittery look. So this one was a fail because... I told you I was just doing this for the first time live here with you guys. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a print out of it. I may, oh yeah, I guess I could make a print, huh? Or it'd be cool. You know what? I'm going to leave this as is because then I can go over it with this same stencil with spray paint and get a clean, sharp print. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Because that's what we do, right? Our, we make our mistakes work. And She hasn't had her breakfast yet. Yeah, I had deviled eggs this morning. Okay, let's go back to this one. And I'm going to wipe off this. Easy. So you can see um, what is showing up that wherever I put the gloss is what is showing up. So I'm just going to wipe off those areas. That. So this will take a little bit more work to get all of them. But I think you get the gist of it. She's a coal miner's daughter. <laughs> So then I can go through and add other embellishments around here. I just so. I just so. <laughs> so that is one. I'm just playing with these um, these different gessos. And let me show you the gold one again. So let's do um, gold on this one. Oh, um, oh, hi, Alexa. Okay, so how about we do a gold, gold cactus one. So it's a little bit small for this space. Or I wonder if I could do it on this side. No, I can't do that on this side. Okay, so let's do the gold so you, so you can see how pretty it is. Somebody said Elmer's glue makes a good crackle effect on it. Um, how much glue makes a good crackle no, effect? No, she's saying that it makes a good crackle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just smeared the heart. Okay. So here is the gold. I'm just going to do a gold cactus. This probably will show up better if I had a darker background. I don't have to goop too much. 
see. And I'm kind of nervous, you guys. So if it doesn't come out perfect, this is like scary doing this live. But this is what happens when you're working on this stuff by yourself in your studio. If things happen, you know, and you just, you learn from it and then you roll with it. So, oh, look at the gold. Isn't that pretty? So I'm excited to play some more with these and do some other things. I could also probably put glitter on top of that. If you want more definition, you need to hold the thing down closer. Right. Or you could put like little weights or tape it down. But this is a Frida one that I did earlier. So I painted the background. The wood is really nice for the stencil. The canvas was difficult to use the gesso on because it just had, it was kind of, it wasn't tight against it. I would need to use like a, um, a temporary spray adhesive to, so the stencil would grip to the canvas. And then, um, so I just put this down and I used the gold and then I used high gloss varnish. So now I can further embellish this, like I can add stuff around here, whatever I want to do. And I don't know about this one. I need to experiment some more with this technique. I think it's, um, I get it and I like it, but I think I just need to experiment more with it. Maybe this would have looked prettier. Be, be pretty yeah. But you know what? Maybe I could like put something on top of it. But I think this one would have been nicer if I had used the gold gesso. I think it, and then it would kind of have like an antique look to it. But I'm going to keep working on this. So next week I'll show you what I do with this Frida. So now let's go see Patrick's project. So um, let me give you, or I'll have Patrick tell you the story, but basically it's it was a local event coming up at Chico um, Native American, Latin American Arts Gallery, and different artists had to submit a story. And then they got matched with another artist who had to take that story and make it into an, an art installation or a shadow box. So um, let's go into the other room and I'll have Patrick tell you about what he made. The theme of it is it surrounds an old folk tale about the devil who showed up at the dance hall. You know, my grandmother told me that it was here at the Riverside. Somebody else told me it was somewhere else or in Mexico or whatever, but it's about a party going on in a bar and then everybody's dancing and then one person starts dancing with a really handsome guy and then next thing you know they're twirling and then it becomes like they're like off the off the ground and you know so and so and he has to have one foot is a chicken claw and the other one is a shoe. <laughs> so he created this to go with that story. So here's the dashing dancer with the lady, and you can see her hair is flowing. And look at his foot. One foot is the chicken hoof. He used my lazy Susan that I used to use to hold my paints. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget the giveaway on YouTube. You can find the stencils and the gessos at um, thecraftersworkshop.com. I'm going to play around with the gessos. I'm sorry they weren't like a big fabulous reveal project. I'm going to work on it and come back and do it again because I just, it was my first time using them, so I was just playing with them. So we'll see how it goes. And the necklaces and the rings are in my Etsy store, craftychica.etsy.com. I have more than 3,000 craft tutorials over at craftychica.com. Tell your friends, let's make this a party every Saturday morning. So me and Patrick are super excited to be here. We've had a lot of fun. And go get crafty people, okay? Sending you guys a big hug. Bye.